was glad when they said unto me, let us go into our father's house. Thank you so much for taking time to join us at this, at this time. We are about to get into a time of worship, a time of connecting with each other through this uh, platform. So why don't we bow our heads and just uh, pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for everyone who's joining us for this service, for this session. I do pray that, Lord, you would speak to them. Lord, let them hear your word. Let them hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to them. And may they respond with open hearts. In Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen. So let me invite Pastor Benjamin again, um, as usual, with the team to lead us in a song as we go and enter into the courts of praise with Jehovah. Amen. <laughs> The Bible says that there's no one like our God. Not in the heavens, not in the earth, not even beneath the earth comes close to our God. Father, you reign, you reign forever. So we sing this song. Yeah. Come on, say.
For your presence today, we give you our all, we give you all our praise, we see it. in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What always interests me is that um, whenever we give our offerings to the Lord, what matters most is not what you give, but how you give it. And so I want to urge you at this point in time, give with a cheerful heart. That is what pleases the Lord. Remember, everything in this earth belongs to Him. So as you give, whatever you're giving through all the platforms that we have made known to you, make sure that you give with a joyful heart because the Lord has done so much for us. And may the Lord bless whatever you give and may it go towards impacting lives, touching people and seeing this world change for the glory of Christ. Amen. Okay, so we have come to another special time where we listen to the Word of God. Um, and today I just want to talk about the topic of hardening our hearts. This is what the Lord is saying to you today. Do not harden your heart. Do not harden your heart. I know sometimes we, we react towards, you know, the things that have happened to us and we have so many questions. We are struck with doubt. We wonder, we fear. And as a result of that, we harden our hearts towards God. So today I pray that at the end of this time uh, of this devotion, that your heart may be freely open, vulnerable to God and what he's doing in your life. So let's pray as we start. Father, I do pray that as we share this word, that it may open our hearts, soften our hearts, that we may be responsive to you and to what you're doing in our lives. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So I want to start by reading from the book of Hebrews chapter 3, and I'll read from verse 7 up to 9. It says, So, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as you did in the rebellion during this time of testing in the wilderness. Many of us right now are going through stuff. It's been a, an elongated period of uncertainty and stress. Many of us are going through very tough times. Many of us are facing great uncertainty. I mean, we don't know what tomorrow has in store. And we wonder, where is God in all this? How can I even believe in God? How can I take him at his word? How can I trust him? What's the use of having hope when all I'm seeing is trouble? Well, this is the same place where the Israelites were. And I believe this is why it is important for us not to harden our hearts. Because the things that we are going through now will give us great excuse to harden our hearts. So let me repeat the words of Hebrews chapter 3 and from verse 7 to 9. It says, so as the Holy Spirit today uh, says today, if you hear his voice, do you hear his voice? The Lord is speaking. He's speaking, leading your heart and probably leading your heart to believe, to have trust, to have a sense of patience or, even, patience or even to obey. But even as you consider what to do with what God has said, you always remember and you always feel the fear, you feel the uncertainty, you feel the anxiety and your heart just tends to go towards grumbling. And this is where the people of Israel were at this point in time. So Let's read now from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and from verse 26 to 38. It says the same thing. But you were unwilling to go up, says um, Deuteronomy. You rebelled against the command of the Lord your God. You grumbled in your tents and said, the Lord hates us. So he brought us out of Egypt to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us. Verse 28, where can we go? Our brothers have made our hearts melt in fear. They say the people are stronger and taller than we are. The cities are large. The walls up to the sky. We, we even saw the Anakites there. Then I say to you, do not be terrified. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God who is going before you will fight for you as he did for you in Egypt before your very own eyes. I know why 
our hearts are hardened. I know why our hearts are stubborn. It's because we don't know. When you're anxious about tomorrow, when you're not certain about what is going to happen, and yet you're being asked to trust, you're being asked to have faith, you're being asked to have a sense of hope. I mean, it's hard. It's very hard. But remember, God is saying to these people, trust that it is I, your God, I care for you. I am your shepherd taking you through. And in fact, I have shown you all the things that I have done in the past. Can't you trust me? The Lord is asking you right now to remember the past. Remember how faithful he has been. Remember how far he has brought you from. Remember how he fought for you, how he brought you out of sticky and messy situations. Look. God knows you're scared. God knows you are losing it. You have nothing to hold on to. But as a result of that, instead of grumbling, I want to urge you to trust in the Lord. Don't just sit there and say, "Ah, uh -uh, I can't trust you. I have to help myself out. Remember, he's the same God who is more than able. I want you to trust him because his ways are not our ways, nor his thoughts our thoughts. God has a plan. These guys were not able to see beyond the majestic armies they were going to fight. They were not able to see how they were going to conquer people with great walls. I want to tell you today, God is going to fight for you. God is going to ensure you cross over and settle in your land of promise. He's a promise keeper. He's a way maker. So instead of hardening your hearts, subject yourselves to trust. Surrender yourself to the Lord. Don't harden your heart in doubt, in fear, in grumbling, in anxiety, but instead release yourself to God and say, Lord, I will trust you. I don't see a way out of this, but I know you have a way for me. So I hope your heart is softened. I hope you can believe in God again. Follow him, obey him, trust him, and wait upon him. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I know these are tough times, and probably the people listening or the person listening to this message, Lord, has so much reason, so much reason to doubt you, God, because they believed in you, and yet something terrible happened to them. Lord, they trusted and hoped that something good would happen, but yet the opposite happened. This is where the people of Israel were. But today you're encouraging us not to harden our hearts. Help us, Lord. It's not easy. But today by faith, we will believe. We will trust. We will wait upon you. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. I want to encourage you to continue to connect with us. Um, please, I know you're still, you know, enjoying the online experience, but Hope Church Lovington is wide open for you. Why don't you come visit us this coming uh, Sunday? Our services start at 10.30. We have another one at 11.45. And onwards. So come, come visit us. I know the sermons that you hear are shortened and, you know, subjected to, you know, short periods of time. But if you want an elongated experience of worship, please join us this coming Sunday. We have some more announcements for you. So please watch uh, these announcements. As for me and the church, to now penda sana, God bless you. Bye bye for now. Close to our God.